Plucked a giant inflatable colon was on display at the medical center today, shedding some light on one of the deadliest yet most preventable cancers. Health reporter Haley Hernandez was there with an important message about people born in the 90s needing to be aware of symptoms. I was happy. I made it through. I was grateful. I cried. But still, it's still a journey. Latasha is like many in her 40s, taking care of others, working and not worried about colonoscopies. It was something else that led her to the doctor. Something doesn't seem right. I feel like something, I have some sort of blockage. It's a classic story for colorectal surgeons. No pain, just something different that leads patients to them. And had it been ignored, it would cost their life. The most, the most effective, effective treatment, treatment actually is prevention. Inside this colon on display at TMC, facts about colorectal health trying to get your attention to get screened. This year, about 4,300 Texans are going to die from colorectal cancer. About three times that amount are going to get diagnosed with it, and it's happening in patients younger than you think. For someone who was born in 1990s, they face twice the risk risk of being diagnosed with colon cancer and four times the risk of being diagnosed with rectal cancer compared to someone who was born in the 1950s. Ways to reverse this deadly trend, move more, avoid sedentary lifestyles, don't be shy, talk to your doctor about your bowels and any changes, and get screened at age 45 or earlier if there's a family history. Latasha's glad she did, but wishes she had done it sooner. Go get tested. It doesn't hurt. And in the early stages, it'll save you from radiation, it'll save you from chemo, it will save your life. Latasha is 47 now. She was 45 when she was diagnosed. She had no idea that the screening age for colon cancer was moved to 45 from 50. The American Cancer Society did that a couple of years ago, mm. guys, and still I talk to people all the time who had no idea that it was moved down. Mm. Yeah, it's getting younger and younger. Yeah. So if you don't have insurance, what does something like this cost to you to get screened? Well, luckily in Texas, mm -hmm. it's law that you don't have to pay for a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is free, but you do need to talk to your provider about those at home tests. Okay. They might not cover that. Right. Yeah, speaking of those at home tests, are, are those frowned upon or, or are those something that are encouraged to do? Well, there's there's more people getting screened, so that's good, and that's why the American Cancer Society says whatever you do, just get screened. That's yeah. the most important thing. So they're not necessarily frowning upon them, but they do say to talk to your healthcare provider mm -hmm. about what's the best option for you because you might have risk factors that make it to where right, you, wanna, you need something you else. You want to do it right. Also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, Haley, thank you.